you know, I, they don't take people into consideration when they make these decisions. Dominic Dielsi and many other South Jersey residents say they feel blindsided by NJ Transit's plans to totally shut down their railroad, the Atlantic City Line, for four months starting September 5th. It's the only line that's getting completely closed. But North Jersey have not had ever a complete closure like they're doing right here on this rail. What's your feeling? Very disrespected. Very disrespected. I didn't know about it until I read it in the paper that they were going to shut it down. So 40 to 50 rail riders gathered today at the terminal for a prearranged Q&A with NJ Transit executives. To give all of you and all our ridership and all the families throughout Atlantic County the respect and the dignity that you deserve to hear firsthand why we have to close our, our train lines for a brief period of time. The bottom line, a full shutdown's the only option NJ Transit has to get its positive train control safety system installed by the federally mandated December 31st deadline, according to NJ Transit's executive director, Kevin Corbett. In going over with the contractor, the only way we could make the December 31st deadline, that's four months from now, was to, to uh, su suspend service. That's not acceptable to me. I think it's. I think they can find a way to keep it open. Mm -hmm. If they if they do it up in North Jersey, they op you know they're all open. They put these safety systems systems in, but they can't do it here. You know, again, we get the short end of the stick down here in, in South Jersey. PTC gear must be installed along the 60 miles of track that connect Atlantic City to Philadelphia with several station stops in between. Engineers will shuttle the four locomotives and 16 cars back and forth to rail yards for PTC work. Corbett promised the line will come back in 2019. Is this a bait and switch? Uh, it is not. We're not putting millions of dollars of... Uh, uh, PTC uh, equipment in uh, only to not start service again and uh, also we are going to be doing 10 miles of track that needs to be repaired and replaced. Bad news, the line's 1,850 customers will have to take a bus, probably doubling their commuting time and their aggravation. Buses they ain't worth a hoot in hell to come down on the bus <laughs> just now. I don't know the new schedule. Two and a half hours. Who came up with this idea? Okay. It makes no sense. What about us? I'm disabled. I can't do all that anymore. The bus schedule could be tweaked, and train conductors may work as transit liaisons to help riders adjust. But Atlantic City business people worry about losing train service right as two new casinos ramp up, adding 7,000 jobs. Remember Dominic? He operates a luncheonette right inside the terminal, and now he'll have to lay people off when it closes. And it's kind of a resurgence for Atlantic City. You know, that's been down here in the news lately, and it's kind of working its way back up, and then they just cut their legs out from under them. I, I don't understand it. NJ Transit's executives will meet with other rail riders at stops along the Atlantic City line today and tomorrow, but the plans to shut this down remain on track. In Atlantic City, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.